Big B's Daily Vlogs. Ah, yes. More grass. More trees. But this time, we're at the tip of Golden Gate Park. The very beginning of the Panhandle. Because there's this one famous statue that was part of the 1906 earthquake. Let's get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Statue week continues. I said I, said I was going to be inside Golden Gate Park, but today I'm at the panhandle of Golden Gate Park. Baker, you got oak, you got fell, and you got this big old monument statue right behind me right here. We are here at the William McKinley Monument statue that was also once a refugee camp for the people during the 1906 earthquake. That's right, where I'm standing right now, there used to be tents all around here that housed the people who were all of a sudden homeless because of the earthquake, the fire. This area right here is a piece of San Francisco history. But first, let's talk about this giant monument right in front of me. Let's go. This one giant beast of a monument built in 1904 has stood ground over here in the Haight and Nopa north of the Panhandle for the past 110 years. It has slept through the U.S. government class in high school. William McKinley was the 25th president of the United States. Was a Ness assassinated in 1901, six months into his second term of office. Now a lot of people ask, why is a president who was born in Ohio, served in Virginia during the Civil War, studied in, in New York, and worked in D.C.'s memorized here in San Francisco? Because if you did some research, he stopped through California when campaign trail for presidency. His death, however, was felt acutely by the entire nation. And the same time McKinley was assassinated, San Francisco was experiencing a variable monument boom, and his death was inspire inspiration for Robert Aiken, the San Francisco Institute of Professors, who designed the McKinley Monument right here with an enormous woman draped in the toga holding a fourth of palm leaf. The statue is modeled after Alma de Betterville, who is also part of the Spreckles Museum, that house that I showed you guys over there in Golden Gate Park down the road over there who owned a house that caught on fire after the 1906 earthquake. This is... A piece of giant history, I think. You can see the name of the president right there. He has the monument of his face right here. This is also, this at one point was covered right here and f fenced out because you'd have people who come in here in graffiti and deface this area. But if you look way up there, you have the lady in the toga standing above me holding but they said it's a leaf. Let's go around the monument. Let's see if we see anything, anything different. You have a little right here ground for this monument was broken by President Roosevelt, May 13th, 1909. How cool is that? How cool is that? Some people decided to do some nice artwork, at least not on the monument. Nothing back here. See the back of the toga, the lady wearing the toga. And again, pretty cool history. And this one right here, it says, This monument was erected by the people of San Francisco, A.D. 1949. You get the side of the lady right there. Cool piece of San Francisco history. And again, like I said earlier, here's some pictures 
of what this area used to look like back in 1906. As you can tell, there was a lot of people camped out here. There was a lot of camp, there was a lot of tents. People were here because the earthquake made them homeless. I'm standing up top the monument. You have the picture or the, the, the cover art cut out of McKinley right there. And then the big toga lady standing. If she became life, like she came to life right now and I'm standing right here, I'd definitely freak out. I would freak out in a heartbeat. Now I'm walking down steps. If I fall, you guys are all gonna fall with me. But man, how cool is that? Nice piece monument here in Golden Gate Park. Pretty cool. Again, you got the busy streets right over there. You got another busy street right over here. Right behind me is the DMV, so that's always busy. Then right here, you got the William McKinley Memorial. With the lady with the toga holding the leaf. And check out that giant sword right there. That's Game of Thrones type sword right there. That's bigger than Game of Thrones type sword right there. But you have it right here inside Golden Gate Park. Well, the tip of Golden Gate Park. Again, this is the beginning of the panhandle. You got about a, another uh, less than a mile before you hit Golden Gate Park. But this is one cool piece of statue history right here. Pretty cool. Again, pretty cool history. San Francisco has a lot to offer. No one realizes that you have a statue that commemorates a president it had nothing to do with San Francisco whatsoever. Besides when he was campaigning, you got him right there. How cool is that? The William McKinley Memorial, the monument right here, built because at the time San Francisco was going through a lot of monuments, a lot of the artists back then just felt like doing it. That's why they made this for him. And it stood here for 110 years. Vandals tried to graffiti all up in here, but Park and Rec's commission did a good job in removing the vandals or erasing the graffiti, which to me, it's cool. I'm glad they did that. Statue Week will continue again tomorrow. Another statue inside the park that I'm gonna go to. Then at the end of the week, one special statue that I'm pretty sure you guys will all be You'll, you'll all enjoy. You'll all enjoy this daily vlog. We'll continue again tomorrow. Statue week. Golden Gate Park week. The last one's not going to be in Golden Gate Park. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. William McKinley statue. With the lady in the toga holding the big Game of Thrones sword right there. Thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Keep, keep commenting. Keep subscribing. Keep watching. Do me that favor. Do me that favor. The vlog will continue tomorrow. I promise you that. I promise you that. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun. It's been great. And yes, I am holding a backpack because there's a drone in there. There's a drone. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended. Here at the tip, Golden Gate Park, the panhandle. Go in peace. If she did come alive holding that big sword and that leaf, I've had nowhere to go. I would be freaking out and running as fast and as far as I can, especially with that big giant sword in her hand.